Hello and welcome back to Span TV. And today I want to talk about a brand new QNAP. I want to talk about the TS551. Okay, so with more and more QNAP Nazis being announced all the time throughout 2018, because they've really separated the release schedule for their units, um, today we're going to talk about a new three bay NAS. Now, First and foremost, this new unit, the TS551, is not the first three bay NAS ever made. QNAP themselves actually released one about two and a half months ago, known as the TS328. But that was kind of a, as an Annapurna based chip and more of a file server than anything else. Whereas this new one, the TS551, is designed for multimedia and more. It's got a lot of the more familiar aspects to uh, an SMB compact NAS that a lot of home and small business users are um, used to. For a start, the CPU inside is an Intel J series, it's a Celeron, the J3355. Uh, now this CPU has only been seen on Synology NAS so far in a couple of Acer stores, and it's a dual core 2.0 GHz CPU that could be bursted up to 2.5 GHz. On top of that, the unit also arrives with either four I'm sorry, 2 or 4 gig of DDR3L memory. So the device itself is quite modest in its spec, but still holds its own against a lot of the flagship units, such as the 253B, or some of the Synology units, like the DS218 Plus and the DS718 Plus. But now I can really talk on some of the key differences about this 3-bay NAS. For a start, it's not a 3-bay NAS, it's a 5-bay NAS. It's got three hard drive bays, all of them click and load hard drive trays. And on top of that, you've also got two SSD bays. QNAP have seen how people are utilising their NASs and the idea of SSD caching improving performance as a viable alternative uh, to memory. And if you don't quite know the difference between them, do check out my other video of cache versus memory in NAS. But... This device arrives with three hard drive bays. You can populate it with one, two, or three hard drives, supporting RAID 0, RAID 1, and of course, RAID 5, um, which means you'll have at least two hard drives of storage with the third hard drive's worth of capacity saved for redundancy across those drives. But on top of that, thanks to um, the cache storage option and tiered storage, um, or, storage or storage tiering from QNAP, you can now install one or two SSDs either RAID it together in a RAID 0 or RAID 1 for read-write cache and improve the performance internally of this device. Now, these are really enterprise level features that we haven't seen in such a compact, almost, you know, practically a two-bay chassis around in the market. We don't have a price on this device yet, but the closer they can get the price of this three-bay to the two-bay equivalent, maybe the TS251 Plus or the TS251A, the cl as close as possible as they can get to that price range, the better this device is going to do. On the rear of the device, we can see two LAN ports, so great link aggregation, awesome, effectively doubling our read-write speeds, and again, removing the bottleneck of speed uh, via link aggregation, getting that up to two gig uh, ethernet, if you combine them into the right kind of switch with uh, link aggregation, but on top of that, removing internal bottlenecks with SSD caching, which will also improve against that RAID. Uh, on top of that, we've got audio in and out, so we've got the stuff of microphones, we've got a rear mounted speaker, so we can get audio notifications and play music from this device as needed. And of course, USB ports, we've got USB 3 and USB 2. USB 2 for peripheral devices such as keyboard and mouse, and USB 3 for attaching um, external storage devices and utilizing USB 3.1 Gen 1 speeds. There's also a USB one touch copy button there on the front as well for backing up to and from an external hard drive. Um, there's an HDMI port, which is fantastic too, which means you can install the software HD Station or Hybrid Desk Station by QTS 4.3.4 and therefore give you the ability to use this as a standalone PC connect it to a TV to watch Plex, Kodi, MB, and Q video itself via HDMI on your TV. On top of that, you've got um, uh, HDMI support for surveillance. The device supports up to 25 cameras in Surveillance Station and QVR Pro, with licenses included on the device, giving you the ability to create a standalone surveillance solution. Now, this device, its hardware is modest enough that it's probably not going to support things like virtual machines, but it will support container station, so Docker, LXC, that kind of thing, and all the other um, front runner apps in the QNAP's QTS 4.3.4 software. But right now, knowing whether this device is going to be popular with you guys out there, it's going to be about that price. If this device can arrive at around about the late 250, 320 mark, somewhere in that sweet spot, 
we are going to see a great little NAS there. Because right now, the only thing this device is going to be competing against is that Synology DS218 Plus. And we still don't know if there'll be a DS219 Plus this year. So right now, if they get that price just right, the TS551 really will be a device to contend with. But if you want to learn more, do visit the NAS Compare article below and also link to further articles as more and more information becomes available and, of course, a release date. If you want to keep abreast of all things NAS, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And otherwise, see you on NAS Compares for the free advice forum down there. And I'll see you next time. Cheerio.